everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Well, I'm out here in the garage working, but uh, I had to take a minute to uh, talk about something. I've been putting it off, but uh, recently we lost somebody very dear to the racing world. And uh, that's this guy right here. Tiny Christian. You meet some people and you think, are they really that nice? Are they who they pretend to be? Or are they just in the public eye? You never know what goes through their mind because you don't know what goes on behind the scenes. Well, I have to say, Tony Christian was on top of the world when I met him at Acker Raceway. And uh, it's hard for me to talk about this. I seen him sitting across in his golf cart. And I thought, well, should I go up to him and talk to him? Or you never know how somebody's going to respond. Because people drive them guys crazy when they're on top of the game like that. He was world champion. First guy to set records like unheard of at that time. But uh, that aside, I had my son Adam with me. I said, you want to go meet Tony Christian? He says, yeah. I said, world's fastest 57. So we walk over. Needless to say, I never saw anybody smile and invite you over to them like that guy did, ever. I've met a few people in my lifetime that's treated me well. That guy was something special. I seen him in an interview a few years ago, and they asked him if he wanted to be remembered for something, what would it be? And if I quote this right, he says, well, <laughs> I want people to remember me that I wasn't a jerk. Well, he wasn't no jerk. He might have spoke his mind and not a sugar coated, coated things, but he far from was a jerk. He's one of the nicest guys I ever met. So, I want to show you guys this. This is his car, and I hope it shows up from the rear. Can I get the light off of it? So, that's my son, Adam. That's my son Adam in the golf cart with Tony. And that's how I looked when we went over to him. A warm, open smile. Now, if you look at these pictures, you think I know him my whole life. Look at my son in that car. How many people put you in their race car? He goes, you ever sat in a race car before? My son said, no. He goes, you want to get in the race car? He says, yeah. He goes to his crew chief. Put him in that race car for me, will you? His crew chief. I can't rem remember who he was, but man, he was nice too. He got Adam in the car. And uh, the only rules was <laughs> he wasn't allowed to pull the levers. <laughs> Tony says, no, I got to go out in a minute to run somebody. <laughs> so don't pull the levers in that car. <laughs> Adam says, I won't. <laughs> so, how do you how do you put a memory like that on somebody? That's a lifetime memory. So, uh, I might as well show you this too, guys.
That's why he done went loud and pulled the levers. Because <laughs> he was running Pat Musi. <laughs> but, uh, I didn't know how to go about doing this video. Because I got choked up. And, uh, it means a lot for somebody that don't even know you to take the time and treat you like that. So, one more thing I want to add to this. My son was talking to somebody on the phone. And this is probably 10, maybe 12 time flies, maybe 15 years ago. And somehow he brought up Tony Christian. And they said, he's here. He goes, who, Tony? He goes, yeah, Tony Christian's sitting right here. They say, hey, Tony, we have these guys on the phone. And they told Tony what he had done and how we talked to him down the track of ACO years and years before that. And what he said, oh, I remember them guys. Tell them hello for me. What kind of memory is that, fellas? Anyway, I got to get back to work. I just wanted to do this little segment about that. Because, uh, like I said, some people treat you good in life, and he was one of them. And I wanted to take the time to uh, talk about that. So, I hope you guys don't mind. Just something that was on my brain here. I really wanted to do a tribute somehow to him, but the way I'm set up, that most likely isn't going to take place in the near future. You guys know the problems I'm having with this. I at least wanted to pay my respects by at least the memories that he gave us. So, uh, rest in peace, Tony. Thanks, everybody. God bless you.